The movie Nayak has a scene in which a student tries to get into a bus, gets into a tussle with the driver instead, and is thrown out of the bus. Chaos erupts, people fight, vehicles are burnt. The student lies on the ground amidst the chaos, missing his crucial exam and ultimately wasting his entire year. It is the beginning of 2020, and this scene from Nayak aptly captures the metaphorical condition of Indian students in present day India. Absolutely, no one gives a damn about Indian students. 1.5 crore people applied for close to 90,000 railway jobs in 2018. 93,000 candidates applied for the post of Pune's in Uttar Pradesh. 3,700 out of them were PhD holders, and 50,000 out of them were graduates. Fun fact, the Pune job required people who had only passed standard 5th. 80% of Indian engineers are unemployable, and only 3.84% have the skills required for software-related jobs in startups. The unemployment rate hit 7.7% last December. In short, these are tough times for you if you're a student in India. And this joblessness is literally reflecting all around us. Enough of this chaos, and it's high time we should start doing something about it. So here's FMF's new video on 5 things you should start doing immediately if you're an Indian student. Number 1. Pressurizing the government to improve the education system. A popular notion that is shoved down everyone's throats is that because Indians are lazy or talentless, they're not getting jobs. If the problem was with Indians, how come Indians have managed to become CEOs of tech giants abroad? The problem lies in our education system. With outdated curriculum, pathetic condition of both primary and secondary education, it simply does not let students flourish here. UNICEF has warned that by 2030, as many as 53% Indians will leave secondary school without getting skills needed for a decent job. Lack of good and interested teachers is another huge problem. India's student-teacher ratio is only 24 is to 1, which is the lowest among compared countries like Brazil and China. While the number of students enrolling is increasing, the number of teachers is actually declining. One can argue that the fall in the number of teachers doesn't matter and can be compensated with technology. But absolutely nothing can replace an actual teacher. A person had asked Steve Jobs on whether technology can replace teachers, and here's what he said. No, I'm, I absolutely don't believe that. And as you pointed out, I've probably helped put more computers in more schools than anybody else in the world and I'm up until this point in time. And I'm absolutely convinced that that is by no means the most important thing. Now, the most important thing is another person. Another person that incites your curiosity, that guides your curiosity, that feeds your curiosity. And machines cannot do that in the same way people can. Um, the, the, the elements of, of discovery are around you. You don't need a computer to know. I mean, you know, here. Why does that fall? You know why? Nobody knows why. Nobody in the entire world knows why that falls. We can describe it pretty accurately but no one knows why. I don't need a computer to get a kid interested in that, to spend a week playing with gravity and trying to understand it and come up with reasons why. But you do need a person. You do need a person. Number two, creating a rewarding culture for risk takers. It's nothing new that successful people are hated like crazy in India. If you succeed, people think you've achieved it by cheating and doubt your integrity. You will be discouraged if you even attempt to do something good, and your journey will be doubted if you get success. This is where America is ahead of the rest of the world. It has a rewarding environment for risk takers and entrepreneurs. And we have to learn this thing from Americans if we wish to improve our startup ecosystem. And uh, the United States is also a, a great melting pot of different cultures and, and ideas and thoughts. And, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a country which tends to encourage success uh, where you, you, you sort of see someone that did extremely well and generally the reaction in the United States is good for that, that person. Um, in most countries, it may shock people in the United States, in most countries, that's not the reaction. Um, people tend to think, oh, that person did, did well because they, they screwed somebody else. Um, or they try to rise beyond their station. That, that was really inappropriate of them to be so nouveau riche, uh, to use a French word. <laughs> Number three, enhance your skills. It is pretty clear now that degrees do not guarantee you a proper job in the 21st century. Mark Cuban, a billionaire investor, recently said, If any of you are entrepreneurs or in the business world, and if you don't know artificial intelligence, then you're the equivalent of somebody in 99 saying, 
Yeah, I'm sure this internet thing will be okay, but I don't give a shit. Use the internet to educate yourself and learning skills. One app that I really find useful and sincerely recommend to you guys is Cambly. Now we as Indians should specially be investing our time in improving our English fluency and communication skills. Believe me, learning English is going to open up a lot of opportunities for you globally and Cambly is that perfect app which has a lot to offer to you. The private English lessons are provided by native English tutors from countries like the US, Canada or the UK. In the app, you simply need to press a button which will instantly connect you to an available tutor. You can also choose a tutor among the ones who are online and you can try as many tutors as you like. Hello. Hi guys, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. So, which country are you from? So, I am from the United States, but oh, wow. I am living in Cambodia. Wow, uh, I've never visited Cambodia, but I've heard about it. The best part is you can have these private English lessons anytime and anywhere you want on the way to your work, college, office or during lunchtime. Make sure you download the app, the links are in description and most importantly, use the app properly so you can actually enhance your English fluency and communication skills. Number 4. Use social media. Don't let social media use you. If you find yourself scrolling through Twitter feeds consuming random outbursts of people no better than you, you're wasting your time. These twelebs or whoever you follow don't create anything, are equally jobless as you and sit on their couch scrolling through their feeds exactly like you. Stop getting involved in useless arguments on the internet. This point might seem unimportant to you, but considering how the youth has started to waste their precious time on these silly things, it's seriously getting out of hands. So use the internet and your time wisely. Number 5. Study Indian Startups and Indian Success Stories This is something very crucial that people often overlook. If you want to be an Indian entrepreneur or inventor, study homegrown startups, businesses and success stories. This is precisely why there's an FMF video on the amazing story of Mumbai's Dabbawalas. You see, if you're going to become an Indian entrepreneur, you're going to be solving Indian problems of Indian people in India. The obstacles you'll face will be different than what an American faces. Studying Apple or Google or SpaceX is fine, but ultimately you will be creating something in India. So study people who have succeeded in India before. And don't worry, FMF is going to help you with that.